Hello people, this is Patrick again and this is uh, a series of parts where I'm going to do uh, some kind of uh, simulation of red blood cells along the tunnel or something like blood vessels. Part 1 talks about creating the geometry for a single red blood cell. Part 2 we will create the tunnel and simulate the particles. So without further ado, creating a red blood cell is really really simple. So it actually starts with a sphere. If I hit F4, I get to see my segments. What I'm going to do is change this to 16. Okay, so it becomes a simpler kind of geometry. And I'm also going to uh, my editable poly. So I convert it into editable poly. And going into my vertex, I select the bottom one and the top. So I'm going to enable my soft selection and then from the fall off I'm, I'm going to affect my vertex until the third row and I'm going to bubble that selection that means making uh, the first two rows stronger in my selection okay and until I see a color coded um, the first three segments like that okay it should be the same for the bottom one because um, we are just doing uh, the same selection from the top vertex and the bottom vertex so after i've got this i drop into my scale and i want to make sure that uh, the first one or the second one is selected this can be either of this then i'm going to make sure that using the pivot point of the center of the two selection which is in the center of that sphere now I'm going to scale down in Z. Okay. I'm going to temporarily drop in a turbo smooth. So it looks like uh, some kind of a vehicle wheel or donut. Okay, I'm going back down to my edible, edible poly level. I'm going to further push these guys closer to each other and then I'm going to change my selection to um, faces and then I'm going to hit Control A to select everything and again I'm going to scale these guys down so after I've done this I'm going to click on my modifier again to exit all the uh, sub components and then going to go up into turbo smooth again so by this time we should have a sort of um, well something that looks like a black cell okay uh, if it's not smooth enough for me I can up my iterations to 2 okay so I get a smoother kind of silhouette if I hit F4 I get this uh, tessellated uh, additional faces and when I try to do a render I'm using mental ray by the way uh, the default mental ray is set to render with final gather so I should turn that off ok so now I got my render and um, if I'm really picky I can see some like sort of creases that's uh, because when I all my um, segments converge at a single vertex they are all um, triangles so good modeling practice uh, dictates that we should keep quads. So I'm going to turn off my soft selection and uh, select every other segment. And then I'm going to uh, hit control backspace. So you see that each face, uh, each polygon that's approaching this center, it's a four-sided quad. One, two, three, four. So I'm going to do the same thing for whatever's underneath okay go back space so now after I've done this click on this one again go back go up, back up to turbo smooth okay I'm gonna render this again okay sort of um, having a better result than just now let's say I'm happy with this okay and sort of has a shape of the blood cell so you can just go back and um, hit 
uh, number one key which loads up my original vertex selection and then I can use my soft selection again if I so decide to um, you know just compress the center a little bit more I can so just bring that down a little bit more and hit that go back up again so I get a more defined indentation in the center hit render again okay so of course there's a lot of ways to do uh, to model red dot cells but uh, I think this is the easiest and the fastest to get uh, get us going and the next thing I'm going to do is to assign some kind of material to it so even though this is mental ray but uh, for simplicity's sake I'm going to use a standard material okay and I'm going to use a fall off material for that um, diffuse so fall off so fall off material double click uh, my slot so I get a preview so it's two colors one color when it's facing away the surface okay one color when the surface is facing uh, your observation angle so I'm going to use uh, red for the center and copy that color over and make a desaturated kind of color which is brighter for the side okay I want some kind of contrast going on so most of the time I'll use um, my mixed curve so contrast I find the, the this kind of curves really useful okay so a little bit more contrast I'm gonna push my red back a little more okay so I'm going to apply this onto my uh, geometry so render so I get that kind of two-tone color going on Okay, so before anything else, I actually want to show you uh, one of the reference files that I collected from the internet. Here's the thumbnail. So you can sort of, I hope you can see. Okay, so that kind of color relationship going on. So maybe I need more red, so I'm going to retreat a little bit, this one. Okay, so that uh, more areas are a little more dark the second color okay so let's say uh, I'm happy with this I really should turn off that final gather so render again so much faster now um, I would say the rest is just aesthetic uh, tweaking so I'm going to go back down to my edit the book poly or actually you can just edit after turbo smooth I'm going to add my UV W map so uh, you can't really see it from the screen capture so but UV the beam map kind of mapping I'm going to in introduce some kind of bump uh, map on the surface so bump I'm going to use noise the noise is really handy in CG when we're doing procedural stuff so this is a channel map because channel 1 has been specified here and then I'm going to change my noise to uh, 1 okay I've hit this button to sort of show the noise, uh, the size of the noise as a preview in the viewport. I'm going to change that to turbulence and then I'm going to have a preview render. So it looks really rough for my render. So I'm going to step up and change this guy to just 10 so that magnitude of the bump is not so rough and not so bumpy. So let's say I'm pretty happy with this. So let's go with this. So that brings us to the end of part one where we created our single red blood cell. Part two and three, we're going to create a blood vessel and we're going to populate it with uh, red blood cells using particles. So see you in part two.